The, the season has gone well, per almost perfectly up until this point. Just tell us what, what's happened tonight. You've got two very unhappy drivers. Yeah, it's, look, it's very, very confusing. I mean, to have uh, dropped the amount of pace that we have, the car's just not responding uh, to changes. You can hear this understeer, oversteer, braking issues. It's, uh, it's like we haven't managed to get the tyre into the right working window. Usually when you see a gap that big, it's because the tyre isn't just, you know, fundamentally working. Now, we've tried different things with setup, we've tried different different preparations, and uh, it's, it's just not happened. So um, a lot for us to, to understand tonight, to, uh, uh, you know, try and turn around, and obviously very, very tough for, for us to make good progress from those grids tomorrow, but uh, we'll, we'll certainly be trying very hard. Obviously, I understand you guys have made a lot of changes here on the weekend, but what changed coming into the weekend? Because the delta between where you've been and where you are right now is really large. So did something change? Well, the car that we have here uh, for qualifying is essentially the identical car that we had two weeks ago in Monza and a week before that in Zandvoort. So, um, so it's nothing to do with the technical directive. That no, came zero. Nothing so to do nothing, that. Nothing's changed on the car. Um, so we tried a new aero part on Friday. We thought, OK, we'll revert uh, on that component. Um, so uh, it's, it's a tried and tested uh, you know, setup that we have, but it, it just hasn't responded on this circuit, on this, on, on this asphalt. Now, um, you know, trying to get the tyres to, to, to get into the window has been very, very hard for, the, for both drivers. So, so we'll, see t we'll see tomorrow. I mean, we'd, we won't give up on anything, but starting outside the top 10, at a track that's really hard to overtake at. Um, we've got quite a lot on. Yeah, Christian, obviously last year it was a struggle to progress from Verstappen obviously not getting through qualifying just in the way that he would have liked to. What, what can you do tomorrow with that car? The, the drivers look unhappy. That's yeah. not going to ch oh, change overnight with extra fuel. What's your procedure for tomorrow? Well, I think, first of all, we'll put the disappointment behind us. Yeah, focus on there's a reason behind everything. Um, is to try and understand you know, what's caused the lack of performance today. Uh, obviously, we're limited on what we can do for tomorrow. Maybe some rain around as well. Safety cars, you just don't know. Um, so though we don't give up on anything. We'll keep, uh, we'll keep fighting all the way to the end. Uh, but uh, this weekend certainly thrown up some challenges so far. You guys come off with miraculous things. I mean, I think even Spa listening to Max say, well, let's just do a practice pit stop. I'll just yeah. go so fast that I'll, let's just do a practice pit stop. Um, what can you pull off tomorrow? Well, I think, I, it, first of all, we've got to pull off the car. You know, we've got to get that hopefully into a better, better window with uh, obviously limited changes that we can make going into the race. But we've had the most incredible run with the most incredible season so far. This car has been by far the best car that we've ever produced. And, uh, for whatever reason, it just hasn't worked today. So, you know, we'll be looking to try and turn that around tomorrow. Just going between the difference between the third practice session and qualifying and it appearing to go backwards. And, and, and you mentioned when you had an interview with, with Rachel about having to tweak the yep. software with regards to upshifts and downshifts. Yep. Is there anything more you can do with that in, in Park Ferme? Uh, is, I mean, is it, is it, is it that the problem? No, it's nothing. The, the, the downshifts, I think they were a lot better for, for Mac. They tuned the software and they seem to be working much better. I think, uh, you know, suddenly, Q1, he goes to the top of the timesheets uh, after after the first run, and then thereafter, really, once he got into Q2, it was the cars bottoming, the drivers are unhappy, and you know issues that we hadn't had in that in that first session, and it, we were completely completely out of the window. Okay, uh, you think you, there may be some penalties uh, as well to contend with? There's uh, uh -huh. impeding with the stewards. I, I think there's two or three now. Yeah. Uh, one at the end of the pit lane with George Russell, one turn four with, with Yuki Sonoda. What's your, what's yeah, your take no, on this? It's those? been a, a top day so far. Uh, <laughs> um, no, the, 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 the one in the, uh, the pit lane, um, we've seen uh, hundreds of examples of drivers driving slowly out the pit lane. I think even George slot you know behind us in the pit lane or certainly very slow coming coming out so i don't really see that's an issue there's an odor one i think there was enough space up the inside uh to you know you know for him having looked at the replay uh, i think that's marginal and i think the sarger one was also part of i mean there was so much going on there, yeah, there, there was, was half, on half the grid down there so i mean let, let's see that's with the stewards but uh yeah you know it, when it doesn't rain here it pours usually yeah. and that's what we've had today Final question, Christian. Without 
getting too much into you know disregarding this weekend are you worried ahead of japan if you don't fully understand the issues at this point do you think it's track specific here either the tarmac the tires or the the corners that we have do you think japan's going to be a worry as well because you just don't understand or look we have an amazing team um we wouldn't have won every single grand prix this year um I think 22 out of the last 23 if uh, you know without that so we'll get on top of these issues and we will try and get on top of them for tomorrow and um, you know work work how we haven't written this weekend off yet you know the points are scored at at the end of the evening tomorrow night so uh, you know we'll, we'll do everything we can in the Grand Prix tomorrow and uh, then see where we are and then focus on Japan on uh, Sunday night thanks for talking to us Christian you. appreciate you coming out and being so candid let's go to the sky